Welcome to Voice Technologies Switzerland. We are here at their offices in Zurich. We show you today a video tutorial about hidden love microphones. Enjoy. All right, now we work with dress shirt button, button stuff. Usually we place the microphone underneath the third button. First, second, third. So around here, I have a nice good angle to the mouth. So it is a bit more like a triangle, it's more, a bit better for us. We're using the voice technology 403. We take two stripes of moleskin, as we did before already, take first a shorter one. Sometimes if I use, if I do that very often, I first uh, put a bit of gaffer tape around the microphone, I wrap it with a bit of gaffer tape because I've, it gets, gets very sticky with that uh, moleskin stuff. So you see it's a bit of black gaffer wrapped around the mic. Okay, we just leave that carefully dangling down. We take the second, the longer strip of moleskin. I take your black moleskin because it's a dark shirt, otherwise I would use flash color one. Okay, I stick this one on my other one. So, so now we have nice a layer of sticky moleskin on one side and also moleskin of the on the other side of the microphone. <coughs> then we go in here, just on the edge. To, of course, a safety loop, which I don't show you. So, and now the microphone, you maybe see it here, you see the membrane is silver. If I don't like that, still remember, there's a little, there's a little wind protection cap, comes with the VT403, and then you can put the cap on it, and then you don't see that silver anymore, but you would see that in the front. And if it's a, a quick move or something like that, you wouldn't see. I would just I would like to check if the mic mic is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have to take it down, of course, otherwise it's not realistic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here's the microphone. All right. So we have some more things that will be finished as like that. You can use it like that. You can also sandwich that stuff with or without that. Uh, Moleskin that has no influence if it's not too bulky, just take two things and, and I would just put one of these two in. You hear it would turn on my microphone a bit, otherwise, you can't hear. Then plastic away, and then you have to be very careful, you have to bottom him up without that it sticks already because otherwise, it's not natural. Show it from the side a bit. So it's the stick stuff. Then be very careful and then press it. Maybe you could can see a bit of the microphone. In the front it kind of looks still realistic. One, two, three, four, five. I go a bit down with that. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, one. If it sounds bass, and it's a bit because of this plastic box as well. So, and you do equalizing anyway in the audio post. The strain relief is somewhere here. Usually, if it's a very, very thin fabric stuff, you maybe can't do that. Just open my boom mic quick. You always should actually stick the loop to the material where the microphone is. So, don't stick it here to the t shirt. Stick it here because it's also sticked here. Where the microphone is stick, there has the strain relief to be as well. So now we have maybe a very thin fabric. In this case, you have to go down with the wire like that and you just fix it to like here and like here. And so on and so on. So you see that is. So at least the wire can't move around and you don't have cable noise. So, and then in this thick material, it wouldn't be any problem to do the normal um, strain relief loop, but 
like very thin fabric. You see that sometimes, so you do it like that, just down here. Actually, it's the same with, uh, with uh, polo shirts, with V-neck polo shirts. You just do it when the polo shirt is finished, it has three knobs, but, but it ends. The l underneath the last knob, you just do it exactly the same technique. Polo, golf, is exactly the same. There's another technique. It's also called bottom. We don't need that. We just pretend it's normal. It's only my uh, voice technology 403. Little piece of coffee tape is wrapped around. So, go to the third knob again. From inside, through the buttonhole, close the button. You take a little piece, this is a very soft double adhesive tape, and it only needs really a small piece. Right, then I keep it in my hands. You pull the cable behind the knob. And now I stick it in my hands. So this double adhesive tape will keep the mic in position behind the button. Go down, go down, go down. And now the microphone is behind the button, up here. Don't know if you sh shouldn't see it anymore. It's still on. Maybe I shall we, if I take it down. One, two, three, four. Oh, I don't see it at all. So there it is, and maybe a bend over there you see. Behind the knob. Actually, in this case, maybe if it it's a dark, dark shirt, but the knob so wide, maybe it would take a beige one. But it's only to show you behind the knob. If I would touch it, you hear it very well where it is. You only hear this mic when this is off. One, two, three, four, and this is also quite a good thing to hide microphone knobs.